reproducibility is really about getting the same answer consistently in every sample. It's generally broken down into kind of technical reproducibility or biological reproducibility. Technical reproducibility is your variance from, say, run to run or user to user or site to site. It's a fundamental truth. You, you can't have biological reproducibility without technical reproducibility. Reproducibility is important because if you don't have it, you can't trust your data. And if you can't trust your data, you've wasted your time and your samples. Reproducibility is also tied to the ability to make full change measurements. So a smaller full change requires more reproducible measurements. Well, the biggest problem is that Samples are precious, and you want to get the most information out of the fewest number of samples possible. In biomarker validation, for example, if variance is big, then you need more samples in order to demonstrate a statistically significant result. When you look at, say, the RT-QPCR workflow, for example, where you first convert your RNA to cDNA, potentially pre-amplify and then amplify for detection, scientists are trying to eliminate variability by essentially sampling more. So they're going to run more technical replicates or more samples, and this problem is just compounded by looking at more and more genes. The encounter solves these problems in a couple of different ways. The system directly measures RNA without the need to go through RT and amplification. We start and end with total RNA. The other way that it solves this is as a nature of counting-based statistics. So with counting, one of the fundamental principles is that more observations equals a more precise answer. So as your counts increase, the reliability of your measurement also increases. Perhaps the best example of this comes from a recent publication out of the lab of Peter Bombards. There they were able to see less than a 50% increase in expression for some of their genes of interest. And it was really the precision of the encounter platform that allowed them to observe fractional full change.